up guys Zephyr10101 here and today I have an awesome RU match for you today it was against um I think it was against the same guy I had the last battle against uh, Cashflow he asked for an RU and I was like oh, I don't really feel like RU but he was like come on let's do an RU and I was like fine whatever let's do an RU so as soon as I get to the part where they show me the battle, I will then start the battle and then begin to get this stuff done. So, as you can tell by the team preview, we both have pretty standard RU teams. Mine mostly consists of my shell smashing, passing Smurgle, and then Gligar to set up rocks. Um, Lantern is pretty much there just to get rid of any status that I don't want on any of my pokes. Bufflet, um... Typhlosion and actually Golurk and Bufflet are my physical attackers and Typhlosion is kind of like my speed and special attacker and you can see he has the same idea going on because he has uh, RK Ops and then Munchlax is his physical wall uh, Porygon Z looks like the sweeper and Metacham is just there so anyway let's get into the battle now so he's going to start off with his um I really don't know I'm sorry but he's gonna start off with his Munchlax, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with my freaking Mimic Smurgle, because I have a Focus Sash on thing, so even if he gets me down to that, I can still um, proceed to kill. So as he switches down to Porygon Z, I'm going to go for the Spore, and we didn't have a Sleep Clause on this match before you say anything. No, we did not have a Sleep Clause, so putting someone to sleep is legal or however you want to say that but anyway i'm gonna go for shell smash really should have subbed up right there to have the safe shell smash but it was all right with me so it was all right with him this is actually the quickest battle i think we've had really it's like a 12 turn battle but anyway he's still asleep so i'm able to set up a sub on the next turn which i should have done the first turn i don't know why i did not but anyway he's still asleep this is like the third turn so, he's going to withdraw Porygon Z, and really, he should have known that sleep resets on the um, turn you switch out, and not only that, but he would have woken up on the next turn, he could have tried attacked and broke my sub, because it is a uh, modest stab, wow, sorry, there's a truck going on in the background, but anyway, I go for the um, second or third shell smash, you really don't keep up at this point, but anyway, I proceed to baton pass out, and who will I baton pass out to? You guessed it, Typhlosion, because not only is he the fastest Pokemon I have that's in RU, he is a monster when he has all these shell smashes on him, because now he's at plus four or six special attack, speed, and his special defense. But he tried going for the fake out here, he really should have known that you really can't do that after um, you switch. You like it. Basically, you can only fake out the turn you switch in that Pokemon. After that, you can't. But anyway, I go for an Aerial Ace here and it's going to take out the Medicham. You're probably like, what the fuck? Aerial Ace on a Typhlosion? Yes, Aerial Ace on a Typhlosion. I run the safest moves possible so I, I can at least kill his pokes. But anyway, brings in Porygon Z. I'm going to go for the Focus Blast here. It's not going to do much. I mean, it's not even going to hit, so it's not going to do anything. But now he switches out into his Feraligator, and the Focus Blast hits two Johto starters. Who will prevail, you ask? Well, it's going to be my Typhlosion, because I'm at plus four, six special attack, and this thing hits pretty hard, and I doubt he has much defense or special defense. So he sends out the Gallade, and the move you're about to see next is going to make you say, what the fuck? Yes, I run Shadow Claw on my freaking Typhlosion, and there's a reason I run Shadow Claw. It's because of people like Gallade, people like Dusnora, those little trolling types who want to just kill you. But anyway, um, switches into his Pergon Z now, and I'm just gonna go for a safe flamethrower, not wanting to risk missing another focus blast, and that flamethrower will be able to take out the Pergon Z, which is amazing enough. So, Pergon Z's dead. And now I believe he's about to switch out into his Munching Orange, which is his um, Munchlax. And I'm going to go for Focus Blast here because I believe like I can hit it. And I know he has Thick Facts, so 
Flamethrower would have done me no justice, Aerial Ace would have done nothing, and he's immune to Shadow Claw. So obviously it was the only attacking move I could pretty much go for at this point. So, now that Munching Orange is dead, I believe the only Pokemon he has left is his Ragnarok, which is his Archaeops. And, risking it all, I go for the Focus Blast, the final move of the game! Uh, and, that freaking plus four or six Focus Blast on a non defense or special defensive Archaeops that's only max attack and speed and attack will be able to die and that will be the game so I hope you enjoyed this I will try to give you some more Wi-Fi battles in the later future but I'm Peter uh, I am actually Zephyr and I'll be signing off so peace out